What's up YouTube, thanks for tuning in this video. In this video, I'm gonna do a driving tour through a local RV park in my area. It's a tourist RV park, but I wanna show you guys, is an RV park a good business in 2023? Does it have a lot of demand? Is it gonna be recession proof in 2023? Well, we're gonna take a driving tour and find out, but first, make sure to like this video and subscribe so we get off to a good start. Alright guys, so we are just getting into the RV park, we're coming up on it, and I'm going to do a little drive through. Now this is a purely tourist RV park, I think they charge $575 a month, and uh, we're going to just kind of take a little drive through and see what they got. As you can see, they're doing pretty well, it looks like it, they got a lot of people out here. They are packed, as a matter of fact. They are packed. So let's take a look here. Yeah, so they are, they got a lot of people out here. We'll leave down here. So as you can see, it still pans out to have a Taurus RV park. This is February. Actually, Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2023. They are stacked up. I think it's like 575 every lot, maybe even 600 out here. So pretty good. They are pretty stacked out here. They got a lot of utilities, public utilities and amenities out here. Um, so this will give you guys some ideas. I mean, imagine this, okay? We got, this is an RV park with six, about $600 per lot. Uh, I mean, just back there, that must have been at least like 20 or 30 lots. Um, and then we got more back here. Some nice rigs, too. Very nice. And, and here they have a, there's a lot of amenities here. They got, you know, golf course. They have uh, pickleball, tennis. They have pools. Um, but they are doing pretty well. They got a few open spots, but um, overall pretty good. And you can see the potential. I mean, these guys are making 600 bucks a lot. I mean, just right here from this little drive through as you guys can see, you know, these guys are probably making, I mean, they gotta be making at least, you know, at least 250,000 a year. I mean, easily. These guys are making a ton of money. And not only that, but, I think 600 is the monthly rate. You know, it's probably a little bit more for, uh, sorry, it's my hand to hold this camera. Probably a little bit more actually to rent uh, by the day or by, you know, the week or whatever. But as you can see, these guys are doing pretty good. And um, you can just see the potential of RV parks. I mean, this is, think about it too. Okay, so I'll pull over right here and just show you guys. So that, that right there is the electrical hookup, hookup that has all the utilities. Uh, it's got the electric and the water, and then they're hooked up to the septic there. But that's really all the RV park has to manage. They don't really have to, you know, fix anything else besides that. And I just think that that's a terrific opportunity for uh, you if you're an investor because you don't really have to do a whole lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's work involved. I mean, this is no walk in the park, but. As you can see, I mean, boom, right there. You know, that's that's really the main source that you have to take care of, along with the roads and the landscaping, is just making sure that um, you got the utilities hooked up and that people can come in and out, really. And, uh, I mean, you have yourself a great business, tons of cash flow. I mean, every single trailer out here is a potential $600, right? Um, they have over there, they got tennis, and they have, um, they got tennis, they have pickleball, um, a lot of a lot of cool stuff around here, uh, and they're able to charge a little bit more, you know. And uh, they got demand out here, you know. Um, and I'm seeing license plates from all over the place, not just Texas. Um, but yeah, it shows you know demand's hot. You know, RV parks probably going to continue to do good uh, for the years to come. And you know, you're probably asking yourself, is an RV park good to do during a recession? Well. Um, you know, maybe this is a little eye opener to you, you that, hey, you know, here in Central Texas, in Fredericksburg, uh, we're doing all right, you know. Uh, this is pretty good. And really, really cool just to see 
that the industry is doing well, um, that we have, you know, RV parks that are full, you know, and check RV parks near your area and see how they're doing. And that'll give you a good sign and a good hint into whether or not it's a good business for you. And I personally think it is, as we've seen from this drive-through, um, this park has a lot of people out here. And um, I mean, if you think about it, 600 for each spot, I mean, these guys are making a killing. They really are. So I uh, just want to do a little drive-through with you guys and help you to kind of see just, you know, what RV parks are like in your area. And, you know, I recommend for you, wherever you're at, to just take a drive through your through your neighborhood, through your area, and just see if, you know, these RV parks are full. And that'll give you a good sign as to whether or not it's a good business for you. Uh, but out here, we're pretty full. And, uh, you know, it's looking pretty good. And that's a good sign. We don't want, you know, empty RV parks. Now, some RV parks are empty. This is a tourist RV park. And during you know probably i would say like the down the down months you know um maybe in like summertime um this is not going to be as busy this is not going to be as busy it's not going to be as full and that's just the way it is and you have to capitalize it's kind of like a feast and famine so when they all come they all come and when they all leave they all leave so you have to kind of just prepare for that it's a different approach uh compared to an affordable rv park but nonetheless it's a way to make money pretty passively. If you have a good management, uh, you'll do pretty well. But I just wanted to make this video, guys, to show you the potential of RV parks and how they're doing uh, just worldwide, um, but especially here in Central Texas. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like if you got some value out of this, and we'll see you in the next one.